in, they cannot hit. And some of these kids, they had to quit the game because elbow go down, turn the wrist. Nope, <laughs> because you don't, you don't throw them up to the ball, you see? If I throw them up to the ball, you push. How the elbow work? Does the elbow do this? Does the elbow do this or the elbow do this? Let's talk about this because I want the elbow to do the right thing. Just like that hit, brother. Okay, so Arbor Pujo is explaining something very interesting about elbow go down. Elbow had to go down. You don't want to see nobody unless it's uh, somebody that is playing the summer league or, I mean, uh, softball, Sunday or whatever, or maybe a little kid that he's very good, talented player, but he's probably hitting like this. And that don't happen. You don't push like this. Elbow had to go down, okay? So he's playing something very interesting. Watch this. I always thought about hitting my right rib cage, bringing it in, mm. bring that elbow in. You saw that? Basically, he's, ta he's talking about elbow going down to the rib, to the rib cage right here, right? But when he do the elbow go down, check that again. Bring that elbow in. Look the wrist. The wrist, he's basically turning the wrist when the elbow go down which does not make sense when he's trying to say knock to the ball because when you see him explaining knock to the ball, look at what he do. He basically doing this. You may be thinking, well, oh, maybe because he was dressed up, he cannot move. No, dude, I see him videos before. I know when I used to play, he used to play and he do interviews before and I see him doing that. I see him talking about that, teaching that. But he's not a teacher, he's not a coach. He's probably teaching something that he's, he feel or something that he just, you know, that's what I think I do, but he's not a coach, that's the difference. So stop thinking like a fan and thinking more like, I wanna help my players, I wanna help my kid, I wanna help, I wanna bless this kid that wanna get to the next level. That's what you need to think. Because that's the way I take, every time a kid come to me, it's a bliss and it's an opportunity to create something huge. Maybe his levels are huge. Maybe this kid is gonna wake, he play, maybe play just college, but maybe this player is gonna be Hall of Fame. Or maybe this player just get to the professional level. Maybe Japan, maybe Korea, maybe, you know what I mean? But every time you work with a player, you're, it's a bliss. So make sure you understand that because when a parent pay money for you, you to create opportunity for the kid and for yourself. Because if you change the life of that kid by teaching it the right things, you change his life and maybe you change yours because I promise you, when you somebody's hitting good, they want, they, want, they want you to teach their kids, okay? So understand this part. Knob to the ball, when he's talking about knob to the ball, basically, it's, 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 it don't make sense. Because when you're talking about the elbow go down, he turned that wrist right here. It's different move. Because talk, think about it, knock to the ball. He's not, he's not turning the wrist and he don't getting, he maybe get the elbow down, but he's pushing, right? I cannot tell the kids. If you tell the kids, throw them up to the ball, basically, normally they all look like this. And they look like land rise, soft land rise over there, very pushy and slow. When I put speed on them, they cannot hit. And some of these kids, they had to quit the game because they are being pushing so much. And then when they get to the level of, they had to make adjustments, they realize they, they cannot play the higher level, you know? Because they don't have something that is, uh, they don't have something that help them because they're pushing too much. But when you see Arbor Pujol swing, he's not pushing. But now, I think he's evolving and he's talking about something that, or he may be sharing a secret that he used to tell to the people close to him, but not to everybody, right? But then now he's talking about the elbow go down and turn the wrist, which is makes sense. Because when you get the elbow down and the barrel turn back, 
basically your barrel is getting on plane early and you're not pushing. So you're creating the right move at the same time you turn your back. That's just make more sense. And I think legends like him, they are evolving and in helping a lot of more players because listen, I know you're probably a fan. My brother is a fan of him. We got a little bubble heads about pool holes. He used to, in PlayStation, he used to uh, use it a lot. It's not bashing on him and saying that he's a bad player or whatever. He's 700, 700 home runs. This is a great player. But when he's trying to explain something and a kid just take that information, or as a dad, you take that same information and then telling the kid just push your knob or throw the knob to the ball and the swings don't look right, obviously, that's not the right information. But when we're talking about elbow go down and the wrist turn, that's just more specific. Maybe the knob is just an idea or maybe something that helped them in the past because if you're talking, if you see the interview, you're talking about Tony Wynn, talking about it and blah, blah, blah. And I tried that thing. Obviously, it probably helped some players. It helped it to some levels. But the best hitters, the great hitters, they got great turn. They're turned from behind. And when you're talking about that elbow go down, that elbow go down for sure. That's that. I think one of the things that he's, he's saying in that interview, the most, uh, one of the most closest to the elite swing is that part. And he said just in less than 30 seconds, that part. If you get that part, you maybe understand what is a lead swing is supposed to happen. Because that elbow go down and turn the wrist, because even when he grabbed the other guy in the interview. Try it. Yeah, no, I right. love it. I you never do thought that. that. Look at the barrel. See? Yeah, it's, in, it's on plane. He was kissing butt, by the way. You were kissing butt at Paul Albert Pujols. But he kind of, Albert Pujols grabbed the wrist and making turn the wrist. So even the interview guy, he say, oh yeah, get on bad path, get in your bad path, blah, blah, blah. Set and it's on plane. Set and it's on plane. So obviously it's a, it's a little detail right there. Elbow go down and turn the wrist. But when you try to teach this, and trying to teach this is not the same. Even when I, uh, even if I try to help you, no, nope. <laughs> because you don't, you don't throw the up to the ball. You see, if I throw the up to the ball, you push, and that's not that's not right. Okay, so this it make you, you can. That was a land right, but you don't look right. I look weak, look weak, like uh, you hitting with a little plastic bat. Now, but this. Elbow go down, turn the wrist, even with one hand. You will get better back pad and you get more elevate, more consistent with the, with the elevation, okay? So you can do it like this and then you can do it with one hand. See, elbow go down, turn the wrist. And then you can create better back pad and you feel more powerful because it's a, a very important piece of the puzzle when you get that elbow down. Go to from behind me. Go right here. This is pushing, pushing the knob, knob to the ball. Land to the middle, but when you look it through the side, it's, it's just all like this. Not elite hitters do that, okay? Now, when I turn the knob, when I turn the knob up and the elbow go down, you get them playing early, so now my back leg take over. Here, turn the knob up. So basically, I don't go to throw the knob to the ball. I turn the knob up when I turn in my back leg and my elbow go down. And when you do that and understand that, basically you. You get more, more land right and your barrel get more behind from early. And you will have more connection because you can lose connection by pushing your knob. Albert Pujol, get it together, brother. Which one it is? Let's throw the knob to the ball or turn, or get the elbow down and turn the barrel. Because you cannot do both, okay? 
People, if you need more help, go to LosCastroBros.com, the VIP membership. We're gonna guide. We're gonna guide you with the right move. We're gonna give you the right uh, video analysis, the video comparison, so we can get you to the next level. But the most important, you understand how to move so you can perform better and you have more consistent. Okay? We're doing this video for you to understand what they're trying to say because maybe this is the video that I need when I used to be a player because I can open my mind, because I was, I was very coachable player. I was very coachable. I can swing 200 times a day. I can swing, I can go practice hitting twice a day, but I was probably doing it wrong. But imagine if I put that effort in the right, in the right place, in the right move, consistent. Imagine how much better I could, I could be, okay? So maybe you're in the same position. Maybe you as a parent, as a coach, have a full team and you wanna help because you like this game and you want the players to sit in this, in this level or in the highest level or whatever level you maybe want to help them. So subscribe over here and get it done.